Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to have a little bit of fun. I'm going to be doing a full face of Chanel makeup. This look is inspired by the upcoming Barbie movie launch. I don't know about you guys, but growing up, I was obsessed with playing with Barbies, have so many fun memories, and I just saw a recent picture of Margot Robbie in her Barbie look, and it was just very soft and pretty, and I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and try to recreate a little Barbie look today. Having fun using some of my favorite Chanel products. I also do have a few goodies that I have yet to play with on camera. I did pick up the limited edition launch. This had the travel brushes along with the little compact and of course I had to pick it up in ballerina pink. So we're definitely going with the pink theme today. I also picked up the new number one de Chanel the skin enhancer. Pick this up in soft pink as well. So we're going to be using this on camera and then I will also share the other Chanel products that I use to create this Barbie look. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look then let's go ahead and get started. Okay I'm so excited to create a Barbie look using some of my favorites from Chanel. I also have a few new goodies that we're going to use. I did pick up the Chanel, this was the limited edition brush set. This was so cute and I picked it up in ballerina color and we're gonna be using the brushes in here today. I did go ahead and pick up the adorable little compact mirror that you can kind of pop in your purse and it is quite a nice little set and this is a nice little mirror compact so cute and I thought it would be kind of fun to pick that up along with the brush set in ballerina and then they launched the number one the Chanel Skin Enhancer and I went ahead and ordered this in soft pink and I'm so excited to use this today. So I'm definitely inspired by all the Barbie hype. I'm going to age myself here but growing up um, playing Barbies was a huge part of my childhood. I even have a funny Barbie story to share with you during this video. But I just thought we would have fun doing a Barbie inspired look. I'm going to flash up the picture of Margot Robbie in her beautiful Barbie look and we're going to try to create something similar to that. So let's go ahead and get started. I am first going to prep my skin with my favorite. This is the Chanel UV Essential SPF 50. I am assuming that Barbie took good care of her skin um, since she lived in California. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some of this sunscreen as my base here. And I'm going to just take this here. In general, I do about two to three fingers of the sunscreen. So I'm just going to come here and apply that to my face. Okay, we have prepped my skin with the sunscreen and this is just very cooling on the skin. This one plays so well with makeup and I've just really fallen in love with this SPF. And then I was so excited about this launch from Chanel. I'm already a huge fan of the number one foundation which we'll be using today. But then they launched their skin enhancer. I went ahead and picked it up in the soft 
pink shade. I love to have a glowy base and I was really excited about this. It comes in three different colors, basically light, medium, and dark like soft pink is for brightening. There was an amber shade and then a deeper bronze shade as well. I went with the soft pink because I'm a huge fan of the Le Beige Illuminating Glow Drops in Pearly Glow, which is sort of a pearlescent pink color. And I thought we would use that. So at first I'm gonna pull out the brushes in my travel set here. And it comes with one of my favorite dual ended eyeshadow brushes. I love this one. And this is number 200. It has like a fluffy side. Um, that's great for all over blending and into the crease. And then it has a flatter edge side. So fantastic. And then this beautiful kind of versatile blush brush here. This is number 110. Super soft. So I'm so excited about that. And then it comes with number 101, which is the fluid slash powder foundation brush. I'm going to use this today. I know that this launch sold out so quickly. I could not resist. I loved the little travel set. I loved all the different colors that were matching the nail polishes. And Ballerina is one of my favorite colors from Chanel. So we're going to go ahead and start with this lovely skin enhancer. Give this a try. I just got home from traveling so I have not tried this. We're trying it together and then I'll kind of do a full review on those. But I'm going to take one pump of the skin enhancer in soft pink and um, I do have some cute little Barbie memories but I wanted to see if anybody else was like myself. And I don't know why, but I swear I ate so many of the Barbie shoes. This is when I was little. I know I was weird. For some reason, I would eat the Barbie shoes because they were kind of chewy. And I don't know how many Barbie shoes I have ingested. So let me know if I'm the only one that did this. I was a little bit of a weird child, I will admit that. And I'm really liking the feel of this product so far. It feels very hydrating, easy to blend out just with my fingertips. And of course, I love to have a little bit of a glow as a base. So I'm kind of pulling that up underneath my eyes here, brighten up over there but this does feel like the foundation which is one of my favorites this one it's got the red camellia oil in it and it just feels really like nourishing on the skin so i'll bring you in a bit closer but this is the skin enhancer nice little subtle glow like to me this is perfect because um, I am feeling like my skin is hydrated. I am feeling like I have a glow, but it's not overly glowy. It's not glittery or anything like that. It's more just like a healthy base. So playing with this one so far, you guys let me know if you've already used this, what your thoughts are. And then we're going to use the number one to Chanel foundation today. I have this in BR32. I'll give you a little swatch of that. This is the shade I have right here. I sort of bop around between uh, BR22 and BR32. So generally in the summer months when I may have a bit more color, I go with BR32. And this is another just all around awesome foundation, medium coverage. And again, it's not too glowy, but it does give your skin just like a nice healthy finish to it. I'm gonna pull out my brush here. We'll use this to buff it into the skin.
Okay, here is the Skin Enhancer along with the Chanel Number no. 1 Foundation together. I think it is a really pretty combo. I don't know if you can see this, but there is a really pretty soft glow just kind of peeking out. So I feel like this combination is giving me sort of my skin, but better look. A uh, nice healthy glow here and we're just going to kind of let this sink in while we put on a little concealer. I am first going to use the Le Corrector in Rose. This is really super brightening. A little goes a long way but I like to put it right kind of in here because I have some dark hollows there and I just kind of like to brighten up just a tad right there. I haven't done this in a while. I used to do it consistently and I just loved it. So I'm actually going to use the warmth of my fingertips here and I'm going to kind of brighten up. A little goes a long way, you'll see. So this is a color corrector and I'm just going to place this all over my eyes and then I'm going to just kind of focus in right here in the brightness. I don't necessarily want to highlight my wrinkly area, so I'm really trying to keep the product right where I need it, the dark hollows. Okay, we have brightened up there. Barbie always looks fresh and young. So we're trying to recreate that on a more mature face. Then I'm going to go ahead and use my favorite concealer. This is the Chanel. This is the Le Corrector Ye Sublimage. And again, a little goes a long way. I'm just taking a teeny weeny bit of this and I'm going to place that right over here and then a little on the outer here. So just kind of brightening up. I just love this concealer. I know it is expensive, but it is one of these that you use so little. And basically it is an eye treatment. It is like the Sublimage Eye Cream. And then I'm just gonna come in here and I have that shade in B20. And I'm just gonna prep my eye area for shadow. We're going to do a little wash of pink on the eyes, pink tones, kind of pink and peachy on the eyes. So I want to keep everything sort of bright and fresh with this Barbie look. And, and I'm personally really excited to see this modern take on Barbie movie. I think it is going to be a hoot. So excited. I already informed my husband that he had to come with me. So that'll be a fun little treat for us to go see that movie. And now I'm going to just let this sort of sink into the skin while I do my eyes. For my eye look today, I pulled out my La Beige. This is the La Beige Healthy Glow Natural Eye Palette. And I pulled out the one in Tender. I just thought this was the perfect Barbie shades here. I am going to keep the eye look very soft and natural, sort of a nice wash of these pinky peaches here. And this is one of these palettes that I've been neglecting that I absolutely love because it's just everything encompassing. It is just going to create a very natural look kind of a clean girl eye look is what I'm going for. And I'm pulling out the number 200 brush from Chanel. And one side has like the fluffy brush here. You can use that in the crease as well. And then the other side here is a little bit more of a flat brush. So this number 200 brush is like absolutely one of my favorites. I still have the older version here that was with the natural bristles. You guys probably still see me use this on camera all the time. Basically they now have upgraded it so it is the synthetic brush set now but it is still 
the same, great for travel. And I actually still travel with this original one. So I was excited to get the new version. And what I'm gonna do so far is I'm gonna start with this color here. We're gonna brush that all over the lid. And then I'll tell you my little Barbie story that is so funny. I am going to just take that color and brush it all the way. Then I'm going into this color right over here and I'm going to windshield wipe that in my crease here. Again, just kind of keeping this very soft Barbie pink look here and Once I have deep set eyes, I'm just going a little bit above my crease here. I just really want to create just a nice, soft, slightly pink eye look here. Then I'm going to go into this topper shade right here and I'm going to use the other flatter edge here. And I'm gonna put that uh, basically on the mobile lid, like the inner corner. I wanna keep everything nice and light here. Isn't that so pretty? Okay, then I'm gonna come into this color right here. I'm gonna use that just to sort of line my upper and lower lash lines just a bit. So I am just coming in close to the lash line here with just a little definition here. Just a little soft definition near the lash line. And then I pulled out one of the Chanel. This is the Stilo Ombre at Contour in Electric Brown. And when I had been reading the details of what Patty Dubroff had done to create uh, Margot's Barbie look, she had used this soft electric brown. And I'm just going to do just a little bit of tight lining near the lash line. Again, I want to keep this really soft here, but I am going to use this pencil to kind of add a little definition near the lash line. She had a really pretty kind of flirty, fluffy lashes. So we'll do that next. I'm just going to come down a little bit with this electric brown right here just to kind of open up the eyes just about three-fourths of the way. Coming in with that flat edge over here and I'm just going to soften everything here And then I'm going to put the tops on my brush here, just like 
this and then you close it together. Fantastic brush. So even if you're not able to pick up the cute set because they seem to sell out, I'm hoping they actually restock because it is such a great little travel set. So I'm going to put that over there. Now we are going to put on lots of mascara. I'm going to try to get a fluffy, fluttery, flirty eye mascara look going on. And I pulled out just the classic Chanel Volume de Chanel mascara. This one is just such an overall great mascara. I have a few of the other mascaras, but I always go back to this one. It's a classic for a reason. And I feel like this will give me the look that I am going for today. Okay, I put on mascara. I cleaned up my brows and went a little bit more intense or tried to make them a little bit more precise because that's what Barbie would do. And now we're going to go ahead, put on some color on my face, and I will try to multitask with my Barbie story. So first I pulled out my Le Beige. Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. This is the travel size. Love this so much. And I have this in the shade 392. I'm using the 101 brush here. And I'm just gonna take some of this and buff this onto the skin, warm it up a bit. So when I was younger, uh, we all had to go to CCD and my mom would always bribe all of us by taking us to Dairy Queen afterwards. She had the big station wagon. So this was back in the day when you didn't have to wear seat belts. There was a bunch of us kids in the car, um, in the back of the station wagon where there were not seats. We were just kind of in the trunk area of the station wagon. And my mom had to come to an abrupt stop. And somehow my arm sort of fell over the back seat. The, they weren't necessarily latched all the way. And basically it went over the back seat and kind of got a little bit crunched and it really hurt. But my mom was sort of one of those buck up buttercup kind of moms. <laughs> so sweet, but she basically was like, if your arm was broken, um, it would be black or blue, or you would see the bone kind of sticking out. So that was that. But I kept on complaining to my mom that my arm really hurt for like the next three to four days. And then finally, probably like on the fifth day, she was tired of me complaining and actually took me to the doctor where they did an x-ray of my arm. And my arm was in fact broken. So as you can imagine, my mom felt terrible. Um, it was kind of funny because she was like, oh, fine, we'll just go to the doctor thinking that nothing would be wrong with me. So it was so cool because I got a cast on my arm and she felt so horrible that she went out and bought me the Barbie house. It's like I was so excited um, to get this Barbie house. I got the little Barbie Corvette. Like she went to town because she felt so bad for not believing me. And it was so funny because my best friend, Ann Walker, then was so jealous that I got the Barbie house and the Barbie Corvette and all of that that she spent the rest of that summer trying to like jump out of trees off of couches trying to break a bone so she too could get the Barbie house. Clearly we were young and dumb but that's always going to be a Barbie memory for me because I was just so thrilled to break my arm because I got this huge Barbie house and all the goodies and we just played with it all summer long. So next I'm going to pop on some some pink blush and I ended up pulling out my number 72 rose initial. Such a beautiful pink color and I'm going to pop that on using my Chanel brush here. This is the blush brush and we are going to 
pink up my skin little Barbie pink here and my best friend Ann Walker and I still laugh about that to this day we had so many fun memories and we were the queen of playing with Barbies the whole neighborhood was so I'm just popping on some of this beautiful blush putting a little Barbie pink on here going a little bit stronger here this is a really great brush by the way too super soft then for highlighter I went ahead and pulled out my Balm Essential. I have several of these that would work. I really love the Draji one that launched recently. I also think the Rosé would be perfect for the Barbie look. The Sculpting, which is just sort of a champagne color, would look gorgeous as well. So if this limited edition one is sold out, the other day it wasn't, so I'm hoping it is still available. But I am going to come up here and we're going to put some of this highlighter on the tops of my cheeks. This is literally one of my favorites here. And we are going to put a little bit of a glow on. Getting a little Barbie glow on it. This also looks fantastic on your lips. I'll put a little bit of this on, but we're going to use a different lipstick for this look. But, but let me just give you this option as well. It's such a multi-purpose product. I love these Balm Essentials from Chanel. And then I'm going to go ahead and powder down a little. Today I'm using my um, Sheer Healthy Glow Powder. I am just putting a little bit of this on. I want to keep that glow going on, but I want to set everything. And I'm still using the blush brush multi-purpose here. I'll just set the makeup. And then for Barbie lips, I wanted to keep with sort of a soft pink Barbie look. I pulled out the number 928. This is Pink Delight. This is the one that Margot was actually wearing in that picture. I'll pop that up again so you can see. And it's just a perfect light pink color. The other Barbie color that I felt like just screamed Barbie to me was one of the Rouge Coco glosses and this one is in icing. Basically this one is almost a clear gloss. It's a very light pale Barbie pink. Let me give you a little swatch of that. I love this one so much. So this is icing right here. It has a little bit of pink here. And then this one is the Rouge Coco Balm. And that is in Pink Delight. So let's put that on to finish off the look. And this is the shade Pink Delight. Okay, got my little Barbie look going on. Of course, we're gonna finish with fragrance of the day. And when I was looking through all of my Chanel fragrances, I ended up pulling out the Chanel. This is Chance Eau Tendre. For some reason, this just screamed Barbie to me. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of this on. It's a great fragrance. I haven't worn this in a while, and I just really do love this scent. So I'm going to put on a little bit of that. Because Barbie's got to smell as good as she looks. Mm, that smells so good. So this is going to be a soft fruity, floral. This one does feel very young. It is fresh. This is like a great everyday scent and I'm hoping you can see but it is slightly pink colored so I thought this would be a good choice. The Otondra version of this has a unique note of grapefruit and quince along with the classic 
DNA jasmine Chanel scent. That's what I would say. This is very soft, fruity, floral. I just love it. It's very invigorating, a bit green. It makes me feel young, a little Barbie-esque, but it is one of these fragrances that I wouldn't say is just primarily targeted towards young people. I can see all ages loving this one. So I'm so glad I pulled this guy out because it just screamed Barbie to me and it just smells so good. So a really nice everyday scent. Chance Autandre from Chanel. And this is my final Barbie look ready for the day. As usual, I love to hear from you. Are you excited for the Barbie movie? Were you obsessed with Barbies like I was? Keep me posted. I can't wait. I believe it launches on the 25th and we might have to do a few more Barbie looks because I sort of love it's just a soft classic look. Nothing too heavy um, and focusing on the shades of pink. So had a little fun creating this today. I hope everybody had a great weekend and I will be back with another video soon.